All right, so I don't know why this is the case, but I love desks. <laughs> desks are, I like, I like all the gear, right? So I like the computer and the monitors and the, the speakers and, and creating a desk environment. So I've been, I've been chasing this stuff my whole life. A lot of it was back when I got my first desk at, uh, at uh, the Wall Street firm that I work for. And, um, and ever since then, I've always uh, wanted to have like the coolest desk. So the concept here is that I'm going to build my little work area, a little editing station, little email checker place uh, in the garage uh, because uh, I lost my office over on the other side of, uh, we call it the north side of HQ, uh, to Chris. Uh, he's doing all the financial management, all the books, accounts payable, receivable, and it's better to have that you know, in one spot, payroll and all of that stuff, uh, to have an office where you can close the door and manage those things. Uh, and then um, I was planning on building on this side. The office would become my new office. Well, uh, the media guys had to come over here uh, rather than being stuck in the entryway uh, because now I have a technical support team. So Kyle and Jeff took over where the media guys were. Uh, and so now here we are in my garage. The concept is build it in the garage area, why wouldn't I? And then I can just close the door here and keep everybody out when I'm doing things. So the concept here is to build a big U-shaped area where I have a, like a, a cool cabinet array. This is my excuse to get a hold of some Sonic MSS Plus cabinets. Uh, Kyle came up with the idea. He suggested, well, why don't you put a corner cabinet in and so I can make this complete U-shape. But in order to do that, I need a custom countertops. So I met uh, my friend Mark, who owns uh, Blue Tree uh, Cabinetry. Uh, I think it's cabinetry. Um, he, um, he, we, he and I have been working on different cabinet ideas and countertops, and uh, the goal would be to have uh, the ability for you to be able to purchase you know, custom countertops uh, where uh, this was really expensive to do, uh, but, um, but for those who want it, uh, where do you get something like this done? Uh, and so I want to be able to create uh, solutions where people can create a custom countertop if they wanted to. Uh, the Sonic stuff is nice. The Sabre stuff is nice. But it'd be nice to have one big conjoined piece of countertops for certain areas. Because if I had done this, I would have had one piece here, one piece here, another piece here, and none of it would have matched. So instead, we hopefully sized and measured the right exact setup so that I have about a half inch gap in between this array and my desktop. Uh, my computer's gonna go here. I have to figure out what I'm gonna do with the wiring. Got this goofy water outlet that I'll probably have to paint black or, or cover up or something like that. Um, but the concept here will be to have my setup for uh, email checking you know, in the garage right here. I am a little saddened that uh, MSS Plus doesn't make a cabinet that fits here uh, or else we would have this for a perfect setup, but I'm gonna figure out something cool. Maybe put the hex logo here. I got my fancy helmet over here. Maybe put that somewhere over, over in this spot. I think I'm gonna do some large art wall acoustic treatment on this wall here. Uh, but we'll figure out something good. I already ordered a 30 inch, 38 inch Dell monitor, uh, and I'm gonna just put, install my laptop in and bring it, carry, carry that with me. Since I now have a MacBook Pro with a four terabyte hard drive, I can do my you know, editing and things like that on it. So let's go outside, I'll show you how it came. Uh, I gotta unbox it, and I'll take you through the setup of this, uh, this desk, and then I'll probably get into some of the more technical stuff um, where I do you know, Dynaudio speakers, universal audio, uh, interface, uh, yellow tech. Uh, I still haven't figured out exactly how I'm gonna do the yellow tech setup, but a yellow tech mic boom, uh, and then how we'll set this up with lighting and stuff for shooting video when, um, when I'm doing hex cast and, and the state of the union addresses and things like that here at Obsessed Garage. So let's go outside and check it out. Okay, so here's the uh, boxing, the Blue Tree logo, and Leave it to a cabinet provider to have all symmetrical um, uh, support beams and, uh, you know, well done. Look at this thing. This is going to take me an hour to unbox this thing. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to, well, I might as well just leave the camera set up in case there's something interesting that I end up doing here. Yeah, finally getting back to the place where I feel like I can um, get excited about new things coming. This is about to explode. Okay, not too bad. Meaning, I ordered this, we've been anticipating it, I'm ready for it when it comes in, when I receive it. 
I can actually start working on it right away instead of uh, having to wait six weeks to work on. I'm not exactly sure how much this cost, but it wasn't cheap. So when you go custom like this and then ship it all the way across the country or halfway across the country, it isn't gonna be cheap. But I think probably, let's see, 26, it was like, like you know, close to 3,700 bucks, something like that. So, yeah. But I mean, you figure the cabinets were like six grand and then the desktop, you know, if you would have bought just a, an uplift desk with custom wood, I think is like 3,500 bucks. So not that much more to do all this cus this whole custom setup. So what do you think? How do you think this thing, I'm sure that these guys, I mean, the cabinet maker built this thing. Right, cabinet maker makes the box. So I think, I think this whole piece is gonna come off by just taking this out. It looks like they glued it and built this thing awesome. I think the top piece, did you check to see if there's any screws up there? Yeah, there are. I'm gonna make sure I don't end up with any screws on the, on the black top. Okay, this is the underside. This is gonna blow all the way across the parking lot. Oh wow, that's so heavy. I'm glad I didn't try to do this by myself. Okay, so there's our countertop. And so now we're gonna put this one in the back first. And there should be a little bit of overhang. Yeah, not too shabby, huh? I'm good at buying stuff. So that's the unfinished edge because that'll be against the wall. All right, let's pray. Pray it fits. So. You gotta go. In the corner. In the corner, I'm over here. All right, so we'll just have to lay it on the lip here and then, cause this is gonna probably be pretty tight. Definitely solid wood. Yep. So, get that corner in. Should have moved the desk out of the way. Tight as the cabinet. You're not straight. Come out. Yep. You measured right. Wow. That looks amazing with that. Yeah, Mark was right. I'm like, I don't want an overhang. I want it to be flush. He's like, no, 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 no. Listen to me. You need an overhang. Look at that. I hate to put a scratch in that, eh? <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna have to fit this on here and we're gonna have to take it back off. So, well, cause I need to set the desk. The desk is probably gonna have to shorten up. I don't wanna fit it on oh, here. Okay, I gotcha. So we'll fit it and then take it back off and figure out what dimension we need to make. So the way that we made this, this, this dimension is gonna be likely right. It's that one. It's gonna be a little bit long. The idea, the concept here is this edge is gonna match the front edge and it's gonna be one inch short of the wall so I can run my cables behind it. So this is 25 or 26 inches deep. The other end I think is gonna be 25 inches deep. So it's an extra inch short so I can feed all my stuff behind it. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna have like a half inch gap between this. And so whatever that gap is, then I'm gonna need to just push this in place. So actually what I probably should do is just loosen this up now. Yeah, you should be able to get close, measure it up. Mm, let's just put it on there. I'll be able to, we'll be able to move it once it's on there. Yeah. It's gotta go, I gotta go back until I get this on. 
This is where doing it custom is a little harder because the uplift already has like pre-marked holes. All right, it's gonna come that way. So let's set it up on this. Then we can push it in place and then we can set our length. Hangover, it's supposed to hang over like an inch. I don't think this can be out of square, so I mean, we're, we're looking pretty good. So all we gotta do is we gotta loosen up these, these allens in the middle, push it together, and that'll bring all of this in. Cause this, and that's gotta come out. This gotta so this has to go in enough for this too. Yeah, we're gonna, you're right, yeah, we gotta make that one a little longer. Huh? Yeah, but now I want the leg all the way up against here. So I like this right where it's at. So we can do, we can have that as tight as possible. But what we have to do, let's, let's push it up. Because that, that wall is going to dictate where the countertop sits. So we need a little bit of a gap. But I want, but I want that foot. So this foot touches the wall. And then this comes flush with the front right here. So that gives us our roughly inch. We'll have to square this up. So then we have, see how it's right mm -hmm. about a half inch off of the wall. I made it about a half inch short. And then I might, it might make sense to bring this out and make it symmetrical. You know, having it further out gives you more room to work. So this will sit here like this most of the time. And then when I'm using it, I'll just set the, you know, set the height, whatever it needs to be. So we went with the most aggressive, dark looking blue. That's loose. So now the whole thing, I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this with it attached. Let's try. Got to go in far enough to get this. All right, I got to go in another inch or so. Now you're, you got to follow me. Okay, I think I like that. And we lost our square here. So I think, I think this still needs to come in further because this, so this is sticking out way past the wall. This has quite a bit of room to move forward. So the whole frame is not underneath the desk straight because it's turned here. It's like turned this way. Okay. So now we know that this one needs to go up here. Two point one, and that one's one point nine. So that thing needs to go turn like this. So that's got to go toward the back. There's... But like a uh, like a millimeter. There's two. There's two. Okay. Don't breathe. That's well, pace. yeah, but now I got to set my depth. Our depth isn't right. We use these. We know exactly what bit to use. Now we just got to set our bit depth. Set the depth here. We use these screws through the middle one first. This is motivating me to get moving on vacuums. I hate this thing. I want one on the wall that I can just grab the hose wherever. I got custom grade, but not custom grade skills. No, this one, we just want to be centered up. So we're gonna have to kind of do these both. There you go. It's two. Two. Oh 
Mark said, whatever you do, don't drill through it. So see how we got everything nice and square. All the feet, you can see where we're putting the, the screws in. Getting it all nice and set up. We've got that, which is just a power strip from Amazon. And I've got these, which are from Bison Office. So mount these next to the power cord so I can come out like so. And these are the only metal ones I've ever found. I don't want some plastic bull crap. I want some solid so I can run some wires through and not have it drooping. Plus it has an added bonus that it matches the black legs. A lot of hours of shopping to figure this crap out. So I think it would make sense to put the controller yeah, on the side next to the cabinets on the inside. So these I leave a little gap. I think that's how I did it with this open toward the back. Let me go look at my other one. Everything's upside down and messes up my, my head. No, nah, yeah, I got it backwards. open toward the back so they can just kind of flip up over. As if uh, I get hard up for uh, detail and supplies, I'll start selling desks. And you sell all this package together. People would, I know I would have bought it. Dozens and dozens and dozens of hours shopping for all this crap. Got to do this all now because if I don't do it now, I got to be hanging upside down. So I'm gonna keep doing that. I'm gonna tie up the wires. These things don't actually work. They'll actually they'll fall off. But for for now, let's put them on here. Let's bring this through like so. Actually, they might stick to the metal if I just leave it on the metal. I like to think of myself as a wiring wizard. All right, check it out. Got it all together. Now let's hope it, hope it lines up like we planned. But check out that. That's a darn wiring clinic right there. Everything's matte black. Beautiful. It's so good. I even amaze myself sometimes at this ability to shop for stuff. Now I'm not even shop for stuff that exists. We're creating it from scratch. I'm up in my game. All right, so we're all wired up. Man, that looks good. That was an un unintended consequence. They're all matte black, satin black. Man, I'm pumped. So we got this all dialed in. Notice the controller there in the corner. So we're gonna flip this sucker up. Now it weighs a whole lot more than it did when we started. So I'm gonna go put it into place. I hope that uh, hope it works. Okay, first let's lower the legs down. Hope the thing doesn't freak out that it doesn't have any weight. I don't know what the heck's going on with my hose there. I had it all wrapped up all nicely. It's gonna drive me nuts. Don't stand, don't. Coming down at it. Stop. Okay. You said that would make it easier. I'm listening. Okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's pretty heavy. I don't know what I'm going to help you with here. Forgot to unplug it. Hold that. Prolog core doesn't come unplugged very easily. Now, yep. I'm gonna have to without messing it up. Well, hold on. Let me think about this for a second. We should let's shift it. Can we do it without ripping this? Probably not. Where do you want to shift it? To? Well, well, because they're going to hit the wall. Yeah. Okay. 
I just don't want to break that leg off. There you go. That's the leg you got to worry about now. You can't see. It's coming down. Oh, that's a desk. That's a solid desk. Ooh. Like, really solid. So one time the Swiss tracks makes it easier. I don't want to miss out on this. I only get to do this one time. I guess we could do a retake. Take two. You only get to see my face when it's all wrong once. Wow, that black with this gray looks so good. All right, bring it to me. Now the question is whether it'll be flush with the front or else we're yelling. Just to be safe, give me a little, give me a little bit of space. <laughs> a little wiggle room? Okay, yeah, that looks a close. Yep. Okay. I knew this would happen. Are we off a hair? Yep. So after all that, there's no way to get this right anyway. Yeah. Man. It would have been smart if I had done it where, you know, we tried to set it so exact with the foot touching the wall I would have just given myself some leeway where I could have brought the foot off the wall a little bit, then it would have worked, but now it's not right. We're a solid half an inch off. So what I'm gonna do is notch that darn baseboard out. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, so I'll bring that little tool back, I'll notch out the baseboard, and then I'll be able to set it however I want. Just use a little bit of interior cleaner. Clean off all my grubby fingerprints. That seam. It's worth every penny to ship in one piece than for me to try to put it together and then the seam would never be as, as clean. So this is just a little bit of interior cleaner. Should work fine on this top. Shoot, that countertop's in there tight enough. I don't know that I even need to. Yeah, I don't know if you need to tighten that down. I think it might be fine just leaving it alone. I wonder what it looks like. What does it look like right here? So I'm on camera. We put the camera right here. I sit at the desk. What do I look like right here? I could stand at the desk and talk too. Yeah, I have a big monitor right here. 38. A couple of Dyn Audio speakers. Put my helmet in place. I'm gonna go grab one of those gray hexes. Good. Let me go get my chair. Now comes the piddling part. All right, it's 6.30 p.m. I think I'm checked out. I'm gonna pull the GT3 in, take the truck home. I'll probably ride my bike here tomorrow. I'm gonna chop out the baseboard so I can get this perfect. There's a little bit of a, little bit of a, about a, about a half an inch that I didn't I didn't create enough of a fudge factor. So picture 38 inch monitor, OG logo, big giant wall mural of uh, wall art. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be freaking awesome. I'm gonna change the flooring, probably do rip track smooth in my, uh, in my rolling spot maybe. I think that would be kind of cool. And then uh, I gotta probably figure out something to do on this corner here so that it looks super, super dialed. I'll figure something out. But man, I feel good about this. This looks so good, look at this garage. So, that's gonna be all set up with product. Yeah, it's gonna be really good. Get this out of here. One, one day at a time, one step at a time. Got my new vice, I'll unbox that tomorrow. Whew. Yeah, let's move the RS in.
All right, it's just gonna be an hour to unbox the box. But here's my uh, human scale chair. I'm gonna have another follow up this. We'll call this the unboxing and assembly. Uh, we'll call, I'll do another desk setup video. Uh, I wanna go home tonight and uh, start ordering a bunch of crap for this thing. Look at this. I'm gonna take this, the new, we're gonna have these in the store here shortly as part of the uh, entries into the M5 giveaway. Uh, but this is gonna go right there. So I have to go get some stuff to make that stick. And then I'm gonna get a big, probably four panel acoustic treatment to go across the back here. And then we got ourselves a setup. So I'm gonna bring the uh, thing to notch out. I wanna notch out the, uh, the baseboard there so I can have room to get this perfectly flush. Uh, and then I also am going to, uh, I'll probably still bolt this on even though it's not going anywhere, but even my helmet, my helmet matches. Yeah, so good, so good. Whew, let's see what it feels like when I sit down. I'll have to set some perfect heights here. Good. Hi, I'm Matt Mormon. This is Obsessed Garage. I look kind of tiny here. I need, to, I need to bring the camera down. Let's see what this looks like. I'm just gonna set this like this for now, even though it's not gonna be the right, right style. I'll sit here. We'll get rid of that power cord. I mean, it'll be behind the monitor, so that's why I wonder if I'm better off having power up top rather than seeing something down low. It might actually make sense. I come in a little tighter. We get even better. Uh, I could probably shoot with like the 70 to 200 to get some lens compression. Back the camera up. Uh, get some real solid lighting on me here. This is going to be good. Yeah. Really good. I'm going to be shopping for some lights. Some aperture lights. <laughs> this is good. Oh, I'm sorry, people. I, I love it when a vision comes to completion now. You know, I need to get some stuff set up here, but this, uh, this style and this finish, uh, I'm actually going to talk to him about the option to create a matte finish as well. This is a gloss-type finish, um, but the, this, um, this countertop is world-class. And then you know, we have this set up here, which I think looks looks fine. And then you know we'll bring the bring the desk up to height for stand up height. When we're not using it, it'll look like just one big cohesive countertop. Wow! And I'll have my pencils and pens back here in my really expensive fancy drawer. <laughs> oh man, it's so good. I mean, I guess I could bring the chair up even higher and just sit up high. You know, whatever makes sense for me. The other thing I think I might try, I think I might get rib track smooth for over here. The other thing I could do is just get like a, like a, um, some sort of mat. Maybe I get with like an OG logo or something on it. I could do something like that too. So anyway, just getting started, figuring out how this will look. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, more desk updates, more garage updates, more detailing updates coming soon. Catch you on the next one. As always, stay tuned for more crazy.